Okay, so let's now look really quickly at another idea here that's really effective for agencies and digital media brands who are using this education marketing model, which I think all of us should be. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna show you how quickly and easily you can scale your online courses across multiple niches, multiple industries, multiple verticals, et cetera. So you're actually taking the same content and you're gonna repurpose it in the service of selling new uh, services to different audiences, right? So in this case, we're targeting, obviously, uh, mental health professionals, therapists, mindfulness uh, teachers, coaches, etc. But let's say that's not converting, and we actually want to now target realtors or something uh, similar, right? So let's go into our path. And here is uh, just a really simple way of, you know, there's a, a several different approaches to this. I'm going to show you, I think, a a way that's going to be more amenable to potentially the sorts of uh, you know LMS or software that folks in my orbit are using, let's say Gumroad or Podia uh, or something like that. And essentially, all you're going to do is uh, you know clone your courses or um, duplicate them in a cool and creative way. So in this case, and again, we're using a little bit more of a uh, powerful piece of software here, but we're going to actually create a new cohort. And I'm going to call this cohort, so it's the same uh, course, let them say it for you, a crash course in promoting your mental health practice using you know, landing pages and testimonials. Let's say I want to call this All right, Realtors 2023, let's create that cohort. All right, and here is the same content once again, right? So it's the same content, but it's now, uh, you know, a cohort of just Realtors. Now, the only challenge here is, you know, sort of curating or clipping and revising the little bit of content that you may need uh, to modify because you're talking to a different audience, right? So it, for an example, if, you know, this is a specific challenge for mental health professionals, well, I could just change that to a specific challenge for realtors, right? I could just change the titling of that now of this module. But the truth is some of this content I'm actually you know, referring to the professionals uh, directly. So I'm talking about uh, therapists and things like that in the actual content. So maybe I'd want to edit something like that and change the pieces that are specific to a given niche to, uh, you know, like either a different niche, in this case, realtors, right? or a more generic niche so that I don't have to keep doing this if I don't want to, if I want to keep testing different markets. So, you know, one of the things I would do in this particular case is I would copy, you know, this, or what I could do actually, so I could copy that and then paste it here. And you can see it here and I could just change the title All right, so I could do that, or I could actually take the content from all of this here that was, you know, that could scale across a different niche, vertical industry, et cetera, and then just paste it into a brand new course, right? So in this case, I'm going to delete this because I don't want that to stay here because this is actually a live course, right? So something like this, for an example, how to use uh, Chrome to add your favorite reviews in half the time, right? So this here is a specific demonstration of using Chrome and testimonials.to to grab health, health grades, ZocDoc, Psychology Today, et cetera, those sorts of reviews. So I wouldn't want to use that for a course on realtors. So, but this here is a generic demonstration of just using the Chrome extension, right? So that I could keep. So what I could do with this here is I could, you know, either uh, delete this uh, for the for this particular cohort. Again, ostensibly this is realtors rather than 
um, you know, the other cohort, which is therapist, which is down here, right? You can see I already have a bunch of different cohorts in this course. Or um, what I could do is, you know, the, the other thing that you can do with this is you can simply say, you know, this course was originally recorded for mental health professionals, but it's equally as effective for realtors and, you know, blah, 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 blah. And then you essentially allow your, you give yourself the benefit of speed because you don't have to, you know, you don't have to make any changes. You could just basically tell your clients, Hey, I did this for this segment of our audience. It's the same exact everything. Although the specific references to health grade ZocDoc and psychology today, you may want to substitute in your mind when you're watching that video, you know, realtor.com or, you know, VRBO or Airbnb or, you know, whatever, um, you know, homes and, you know, land or whatever, you know, realtor oriented, um, you know, sites are out there to help, you know, promote, you know, home listings, MLS listings, et cetera. All right. So if you're using something like uh, Podia or Gumroad, you can actually just duplicate the course and, you know, get the whole entire course in one fell swoop. And then you can actually, you know, just just rinse and repeat that approach. So you have a bunch of different courses that are targeting different professionals. And if you're actually doing something like, you know, uh, PDFs or something like that, right, you can just change the, you know, this is like a, a more of a, this is our Canva account. You could just change, you know, the, um, you know, the, the title of your workbook Right? If you're not using the LMS approach like I'm using, you're just teaching via like an ebook or something, you could just, you know, change it to whatever, you know, target audience you're targeting, right? And then you have, you know, all the other content underneath is going to be the same. Okie doke. So hopefully that makes some sense. Again, if you're in our... Uh, course cohort, uh, and you have any questions about this, please let me know. It's very easy. It's a very powerful way of testing different niches, testing different verticals. And in the end, you know, you could be doing well in all of them, and you're just simply creating new cohorts each and every time, right? For each and every audience that you're, um, you know, that you're approaching as a potential 